New at 11, the community is coming together to help a single mother raise money for a dog to help her son. Janine Brodeur is raising nine-year-old Cooper, who was born with Down syndrome. His mother wants to give him a specially trained pup to help guide him through his life. CBS 47's Esteban Reynoso shows us how they're making progress towards their dream dog. We met nine-year-old Cooper and he was just as bright and welcoming as his favorite color orange. The same color as his favorite team. George and the digger. Right. And his favorite stuffed animal. Cooper has a massive collection of all his favorites, but Cooper and his mother Janine Brodeur are just days away from adding a different kind of animal. Waffle soon. Waffle soon. This is Waffle, the golden doodle. And although she may be just a picture right now, Janine is raising money to bring Waffle home and train her for a very serious reason. He does tend to occasionally have some, you know, meltdowns or um, anxiety, separation anxiety. So the dog will help with that comfort, the companionship. A real life friend for him to, to have side by side every day. She is uh, seven weeks old. She'll be eight weeks old this weekend. And Cooper can't wait. <laughs> he lacks safety awareness, so he doesn't quite understand, um, you know, the safety constraints that maybe a, a normal child would have. But that isn't stopping Cooper's mom from trying to provide him a normal life. Brodeur says the plan to give Cooper that lifelong best friend started years ago. But now she says with the help of some generous strangers, it's all coming to fruition. This is a big, it is a big help for me. I am a single mom um, raising Cooper since he was born by myself. It comes with medical challenges, um, expenses. It's something that really is going to benefit Cooper. And I just really needed a little bit of extra help from the community. If you would like to help Cooper and his companion, you can find a link on our website, yourcentralvalley.com, to donate. In Clovis, Esteban Reynoso, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.